What up, what up, Winboys here. And a couple of days ago, I posted this video up on social media. I got 300,000 plants running in real time inside of Unreal Engine 5 using Nanite. I felt pretty good about myself until I got caught out. Somebody actually said they got 5 million trees running inside of Redshift inside of Cinema 4D. So you know what challenge accepted i'm going to up you up and do six million but not only that i'm going to have it running in real time as a video game with the wind effectors on so without further ado let's jump right into it so to get started i'm actually going to use this mega scans pack this european black outer pack that you see right here i already have it added to my project so i'm going to go into unreal engine 5.2 and you see i have a third person template already set up here so the next thing i'm going to do it's actually just going to come over and make a simple landscape so i'm going to import my height map like so come down here just change out a couple of these attributes here and then for the material i downloaded something from mega scans down here this uncut grass so i'm just going to click and drag it into here then i'm just going to make this landscape so let me actually undock this right here come down here to the bottom i'm just going to import this landscape and then we're going to start planting our trees so now that I have my landscape built out, I'm going to pick an area in which I can have my player run around and I'm not going to have it engulf with trees. I kind of want to make a path for them to run around in. So let me scroll up, holding down the right click, hit the E button, scroll my mouse wheel forward just until I come up into the ground level like so. So let's say around right here is good. I'm going to come over here, just going to lay down a sphere. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to have my player start maybe be somewhere around here. So I'm going to take my player start from my outliner. Just click and drag it underneath my sphere and then down here my details panel i'm just going to actually reset it out and then i could come back over here drag this out delete my sphere and that's how i quickly was able to get my player start to be right here and if i click on play now you can see we have our player right there so that's just a fast way that i could go through and just kind of set it where i want it to be and don't have to like click and drag it into the spot but the next thing i want to do now is actually just start building some trees around here so I'm gonna come back over here to selection mode, come down here to foliage, then let me actually come to my content drawer. I'm gonna dock it because I'm gonna look for those trees that I have down here, which is the elder. And then I'm gonna pull this up a little bit, come down here to geometry. I'm gonna do the pivot painter and let's pick a couple of these trees here, maybe something taller so I can have my character run around in them. So maybe let's pick these five right here. Then I'm gonna scroll down here. I'm gonna left click, drag it under my foliage. I'm just going to save them out in here. There we go. So I'm not going to do anything too crazy with these attributes here. Let me actually close out the content browser. Make sure I have these selected. Let me come up here for my brush size. I'm just going to raise it up here a little bit. Then for my density, maybe let's drag this down to like 50. So if I paint around here. Yeah, I guess because we're just going to try to get a lot of trees in here. So I'm just going to paint and drag it. And actually, I'm going to come back over here to align normals just so they're sitting straight up like so and i'm just going to make a little path here for my character so let me actually scroll up here a little bit okay i'm going to engulf this entire world with all these trees but at the same time i want to leave a path so i can have my character running through it so let me just paint a bunch of these trees in here let me actually come up here and look at how many we have so we have about eight thousand each so I'm just going to put it on time lapse right now, and I'm just going to paint the heck out of this entire terrain. Now, here we are. I have everything painted out. I'm going to calculate it, but this wasn't about making a pretty picture. This is more based on the principle of being able to hit that benchmark. So if you look over here in the lower left hand corner, let's actually calculate this out. So I'm actually going to get my calculator, drag it over here. So we have one point. 5 1 million times what five trees here so i'm going to calculate that we have 7.55 million trees in here which is insane i thought i was only going to do six and a half million but you know we have to stunt on them a little bit and talking about stunting on them let's actually play this in real time through the third person character so i'm going to come back over here and then i'm just going to click play here now you can see we have a third person character inside of here we're running inside of the forest here just rolling through these are all the trees here not that we even needed seven million trees but just wanted to prove that we can actually have this run in real time even with all that geometry inside of our scene here these are actually nanite trees so that's probably why it's running so smooth you can see in the top left hand corner that i'm actually over the texture streaming pool but that's all right we're still getting a pretty good frame rate in here actually let me pull up the stats on here as well so i'm actually going to exit this out and just so you guys don't think i'm lying 
just gonna pull up here a little bit i know we have some coloring going on in there and that's just because i'm on medium scalability but look at all the trees that we actually have in here like this is pretty crazy here but let's actually put it on fps show fps see what kind of frame rates we're getting there so yeah it's running pretty low around 20 here let me actually come down here and i'm gonna type in streaming dot pool i'm gonna go to the top one right here and then we're going to make it a pool size of zero hit enter and that should open up some vram if you want to see a tutorial on how to do that a little bit more slowed down make sure you click up above where i actually go through all the steps there but that was pretty much it right there so now again i'm going to click on play and let's see if we could get a higher frame rate playing in here it looks like we're getting around 30 frames per second in there so if i just start moving around here getting a solid 25 to 30 in here depending let me actually run into the belly of the force so let's just go right deep into it where it's not really open terrain in there i know we're not going to see our character as much but yeah we're hitting some frame dips but the principle of the point is we we're still able to make it happen so we got over 7 million trees here running inside of unreal engine which is completely insane even though it's starting to freak out in there a little bit but let me actually come back out pull up a little bit you can see the terrain that i built right there we have a lot of patches in there but again like i said it's more about just getting the trees in there now this video is just for fun of course over 7 million trees is overkill in any situation but just wanted to kind of push it and see if i could actually do it which i was able to actually do it so big shout out to puget systems because this is actually running on the beast of a system i have a 4090 in here with a 64 core amd cpu threadripper processor so of course, I probably couldn't have did this on a laptop, but it's fun to just try to push it to its limits. So if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And again, this was just for fun. Don't take it too serious. But until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. i see you soon. Take care.